conditions. Behind Blue Eyes Hello, Mr. Green. I'm a big fan of your movies. You were a great phantom, said the coroner of police, Dr. Blake Alexander, to a corpse. Found in a forest, he knew him as Abel Green, a famous actor in the movies, as he was. The Grim Reaper Mortimer, the judge of the dead, he had spoken to his soul in the afterlife. I knew he'd been found in the forest, dead, although no one had missed him, yet he'd gone for a hike. He was a solitary soul. No one missed him yet. He'd had a heart attack on his hike and died in the forest and lay there for a week, forgotten. That was until a hiker happened upon his body and the police were called. He ended up on a slab in Blake's morgue. Hmm. Walked a policeman in uniform. He was puzzled. Were you talking to your friend on the slab's ghost? Did he say who he was? Asked the policeman, Blake's great uncle. The magician, the red fox? Hmm? Of course not, scoffed Blake. I heard you talking vaguely, said the fox. I was talking to myself. His soul is gone. Even a great necromancer can't talk to a soul, which is not there. He's just a shell, said Blake, who was a great necromancer. Any ideas who John Doe is? Asked the fox. Oh, the DNA hasn't ID'd anyone yet. How is it on your side? You got any clues? Asked Blake, whose uncle didn't know he was Mortimer. It was a secret from the public. No. But he looks strangely familiar. I can't say from where, said the fox. Blake smiled, hiding what Mortimer knew behind his blue eyes.